Hello once again boys and girls, this is the Delivery Boy, delivering you guys another video, and today, in this one, we are trying out a new game, not really new, but it's new to me, uh, it's called Nether, uh, my friend gave it to me as a gift a few days ago because it was on sale for like three bucks, and um, it's, it's a pretty good game, I have like five hours or so uh, on this server, so... But, uh, yeah, I just spawned out in the world to see what we can get. And I wanted to... <clears throat> I want to go to a... A trader. Which, let me mark on the map. It's not one around. There's a... Oh, there's one right there. There's a loot drop. But there's usually a lot of monsters around there usually a lot of monsters around that so I don't know if I really want to go do that or not but uh... let's just go to this outpost which is this one I don't know why but you can't get that other one off the map it's weird is that the uh, tutorial safe zone I guess if that's what you want to call it but uh... yeah my friend gave me this game uh... We, we've been playing it it was only three bucks I don't know how long it's gonna stay on sale but um, it's it's a really good game, in my opinion. They they started updating it. If you guys have played this game before, like when it came out, they did pretty much have it uh, pay to win, but they took out the microtransactions, so um, it's not like that anymore. This game is a lot more uh, balanced and playable I guess you could say that people aren't running or I mean people are running around with like sniper rifles and stuff but you have to do mission type things to do that not really missions but you have to either kill the nethers and give them to this group called the the cult or just uh, just search a lot of things until you find the parts that you need to make it but um yeah, I got some stuff in my global inventory that I wanna, I wanna get out, and then I wanna go find a subway, and then look around down in there. I just had to go to Nether. Oh, it's one of those kinds. These kinds are okay for that reason. They don't take much to kill, but they do a lot of damage. So, but anyway, let's continue on to the uh, safe zone, the trading outpost. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go there, and then uh, I'll get some gear, and then I'll see you guys in a minute when I uh, find a subway that I can go down into. Mm. Alright guys, we have made it to the subway. Uh, I bought myself a few things. And I bought myself a gun. Just in case, because you never know when you're going to run into some other players. So, yeah. I'm just going to look around see if we can't find any gear. I've never been in the subway before. So, we'll see how this goes. I brought a flashlight, but it doesn't work. It says press F to activate, and I am, but it's not doing anything. So, oh sweet Mario! I don't know if I just have a defective one or like if you need batteries or whatnot, but but yeah, apparently I can search this bookshelf. Never searched one of these before. We got a Bro Max, nice. Uh, my friend told me that the subway is a great place to find guns and 
I guess he wasn't kidding. Th those aren't like, you know, those are just parts to a gun. But you gotta start somewhere. He said that he found a, a UMP down here. So I forgot that. Nothing dropped on this one, I guess. He does pretty creepy down here, though. Apparently, not a lot of people come down here. So, uh, I don't want to quite say that we have this place to ourselves, but I don't expect to run into anyone. See, this is why I was kind of, you know, expecting my flashlight to work. Jesus flashlight. Let's uh, change it to um, B, I guess. Let's see if that changes anything. I guess my flashlight just doesn't work. Oh well. I don't know if there's anything uh, down there. Hello. Holy crap. to get in there. Oh well. I guess you don't really need a flashlight down here. You always want to make sure you pick up uh, the nether stuff after you kill it because there's like I said there's a place called the cult where they they trade that stuff for a variety of items including guns so it doesn't hurt to pick those up what is this? I don't have any keys on me at the moment. I probably should have brought them. But that looks like there's something good in there. Kind of want to... Can I mark this place on the map? Okay. I already have that marked on the map so I can find my way back down. If we go back... Um... I guess we can get the keys and come back here. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to go run and grab the keys real quick. Uh, I'm going to spare you the spare you the time of sitting here watching me do this all again. But uh, I'm going to go grab these keys. I think I have like six or so. That should be enough to unlock that. And then uh, we'll see what's inside.
Alright guys, we have made it back to this locker. I have my keys. Just want to make sure no one's around. Because as you saw, there was like three or four people out there. But uh, yeah, let's unlock this locker and see what's inside. We got a katana, which I already have. It's the best melee weapon in the game. Uh, we got a bunch of magnum ammo, a military helmet, some more magnum parts. I actually picked up a lot of masks and stuff. So let me. Uh, I'm gonna go through those. Tell me which one you guys like the most. So that's the military one. This is the one that I have on now. Picked up some gas masks. You know, we get that. The deadly comedian. Standard gas mask. Military. I think we're just going to go with this one for the lols. Yeah. We'll stick with this one. Actually, can I look at my character? No, it doesn't show it. It shows your character when you're, um... Loading in. Just gonna stick with this one. It brings out my individuality. I totally messed that word up. It brings out... Me. Sure, let's just leave it at that. It shows who I am. Search to the trash, see if we can't find an AR-15. And we got some food. I don't know if I would eat food that I found in the trash. Personally. But you never know. You might have to at some point in time. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to end the video here. Uh... If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and share it with all your other buddies. Tell them about it. Tell them that it's real cool. You see some sweet PvP action. Uh, <laughs> not really. It's more like PvE with a few shots being fired. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know how. Like I said, I don't know how long this game's gonna be on sale. It's it's three dollars. I think it's really good. They're uh, they're they're pretty much redoing this whole game. Because when it first came out, like I said, they had microtransactions and people didn't, people could like start out with AR-15s and full body armor and stuff and no one, no one liked it at all. They just wanted, they just, everyone thought that this, uh, this company who made the game just wanted, you know, money and stuff, which they didn't. And they, they fired that guy and fired a lawsuit. They do a lawsuit about him and now he has nothing to do with this game he has nothing to do with the company and I think they got a pretty decent amount of money back from it so and they're using that money to help rebuild the game which is really cool so yeah um, it's three bucks when I bought it or my friend gave it to me if you guys you know I mean this 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 is a great game in my opinion it, there's no other survival horror like it and uh, it has great ambiance you know PvP is a little clunky at the moment, but I'm sure they'll fix it. They're updating it just about every day. But anyway, yeah, like I said, like this video if you liked it and think one of your friends are going to like it. Go ahead and share it somewhere, you know, just Google+, Plus, Facebook, whatever floats your boat. And uh, if you're new around here and want to support the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps out more than you guys think. And this has been the Delivery Boy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.